My name is John Gregory and I'm a film editor. The film I finished last year was Three Billboards in Ebbing, Missouri. Martin likes the whole title. Martin McDonough is very precise. He's fr from the stage. Uh, he does a lot of theatre, a lot of theatre. So, so dialogue and performances uh, are the main, the main thing. One of the things about him, which, uh, which I've not known with any other director, is that he, when we get over, he takes all the rushes home and he goes through every single take, making notes about you know inflection and performance and whatever. I don't normally involve myself in as much as I don't say, well, actually, I think this is a better take than that. Because it's best to, because this is how you get to know what the director wants, and then after that, then 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 you do what you 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 want, and that's how it, that's how it works. So Mildred Hayes, why did you put up these billboards? My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department is too busy torturing black folks to solve actual crime. What the hell is this? Dixon, I'm in the middle of my goddamn Easter dinner. Sorry, kids. I know, Chief, but I think we got kind of a problem. Sunshine beating on a good time. I'd do anything to catch your daughter's killer. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The time it took you to get out here whining like a bitch, Willoughby. Some other poor girl's probably out there being butchered right now. It's like a modern-day Western, really. And I love Westerns ever since I was really so I think to me it's still, even though they don't make them so much, to me, it's the, the the genre which I think is great. You know, it's Shakespearean. It's it's you know, it's epic and just right for the screen. And the motion and the emotions are, are very highly charged. When Dixon gets fired, when he's on the porch, he, he and he goes in the door. You don't have, you can cut there. Simple enough. You can cut there. But I went inside because I noticed at the end of the first take that Martin shot, he comes and he just stands there. And it's, and it's all in silhouette and framed in the doorway. And, and you play games like that, you think, oh, that was, that's just searches. And so I put that in, you know? There was one scene we, we took out where, when it was with, with the Dixon and his mum, where he comes back drunk and he's, he's, he's there in his underpants and he tries to get into bed with her. I mean, not, not, not to do anything, but, but he's just so drunk and she kicks him. I mean, he, he doesn't actually get in there, but she kicks him out, you know. But it was just a bit slapstick. You could take a bit too slapstick and also you could take it as being sleazy if you wanted to really think about that. So, yes, so, so we, did, we did remove things. For achievement in film editing, Baby Driver, Dunkirk, I, Tanya, The Shape of Water, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Being nominated for the Oscar is, is terrific. I, I really, you know, I don't know really what to say, how to be cool and calm and, and reflective. I'm not starting my career. I'm on the downward slope, as they say, but um, um, I, I it, it was just terrific. I couldn't believe it. And I know everybody says that's so corny, but it, it, it is, it's quite amazing. Years ago, when I was a teenager, I used to you know, watch the Oscars, and, but I mean, and it was just on film, film, film uh, newsreel, and, and you know, nothing like the way it is now. And I didn't know what I wanted to be then. I, I knew I just wanted to work in film, but I thought, God, it must be great to, 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 to be there and, and be part of that whole crowd of people that go back to 1929 and being nominated you are you're part of that group now we all like to win the pools and we all like to win the lottery so yeah we were great to win so what happened were you bored in manchester was i bored no i wasn't fucking bored i'm never bored that's a trouble with everybody you're all so bored You've had nature explained to you and you're bored with it. You've had the living body explained to you and you're bored with it. You've had the universe explained to you and you're bored with it. So now you just want cheap thrills and like plenty of them and it doesn't matter how tawdry or vacuous they are as long as it's new, as long as it's new, as long as it flashes and fucking bleeps in 40 fucking different colours or whatever else you can say about me, I'm not fucking bored. Yeah, all right. So how's it all going for you? It's a bit boring, actually. Well, working with Mike Lee is fun. Because we worked together for so long, we, we just, we get on. It's just, it is just great fun. 
it really is great fun we're working with Mike because he's such a funny guy um, so it's enjoyable I think you know I think there's enough angst in making films it's, it's just when you can enjoy it and laugh and you know I mean just relax at times you know he's written it he's conceived it um, he's rehearsed the, you know shot it and all the rest of it he's he's done it and it's his film but he does expect the editor to, to bring a hell of a lot to it I, I suppose that's an obvious thing to say but but Martin is is this is very similar and, and and some other directors Mike Neal they it's because they know what they want to say in a scene, but they don't expect it. They don't want to sit there and say, oh, well, I think maybe you should cut this. Maybe I think you should use that. They just let you do it and then look at it. And then they'll, they'll, they'll obviously you know, tweak this, that, and the rest of it. And that's, and that's what he expects. He, God, I know Mike as well. He, he treats editing as a holiday. At this time of my career, if you like, or that, that I've got a lot of experience, so a lot of things you can really play around with by, by just trying off the wall stuff and still be able to keep a, a sense of what's going on. And I think that's that, that's the thing. Whereas obviously when you're younger, you you, know, you make sure you got to make sure this cuts with that, and you got to you know, and you sort of follow follow things through. But now you can do you can do anything, you know, because all the rules are there to be broken. And I think the more experience you have, the more you feel comfortable about just letting it all go, letting it all hang out there.